the Neo X series training. In the previous video, we looked at patching. So we got our console configured and ready to control our rig. So in this video, we're gonna take a look at actually starting to control our fixtures. We're gonna talk about selection, so how we can actually choose which lights we wanna control, and then we're actually gonna to start to talk about intensity control of them. Um, we're gonna be using the channel grid for this particular um, exercise, so it's a very useful window for just grabbing control of light, seeing what levels they're at. If you're not already viewing the window, you can go ahead and choose channels and then choose grid, and that's going to open the classic uh, channel grid on the console. Uh, this window, if you need to, you can scale it and you can actually scroll through it using the encode wheels um, if you've not got any fixtures selected. So within this window, we can go and start to interact with our fixture. We can go and click and choose the fixtures we want to grab control of. So if I want light number four, I can go ahead and tap it, and I can straight away go and tap full, for example, to set light number four to full. Now, if I go ahead and choose another fixture, um, you may notice that that deselects the previous fixture. And um, we can see in our um, classic view there in the channel grid that we have a red box around our fixture that is currently selected. And as soon as we go in and tap to new fixture, the previous one selected, meaning I no longer have control of that previous fixture. You'll see if I go ahead and use the level wheel, um, I'm only controlling that most recent fixture. And the reason for that is what we call um, exclusive selection mode. It just means that um, when you select a new fixture by tapping, the previous one deselects. Um, but you don't have to work in that way if you want to. Um, if you want to grab control of multiple fixtures at a time, such as my front light in this case is lights one through to six, I can actually click and drag. So I can go and click and drag on one through six, say full, and that's going to turn all of those fixtures on at once. Now, if I need to do that across multiple rows within my grid here, um, you might find that um, clicking and dragging, that's going to grab too many fixtures. So instead, you can actually go and click on the first fixture, hold the Neo key, and go and tap on the last fixture that you need. And that's going to go and select that whole range of fixtures for you at once. Now, as well as that, um, we can also start to grab multiple fixtures at a time. So if I wanted, for example, 3 and 31 and 35, of course, if we're using exclusive, as soon as you select a new fixture, the previous one deselects. So in that example, what I can do is just go and hit the mode key on my console. And that now allows me to inclusive select my fixtures. So I can just go and tap on multiple, and it's going to add to the selection each time. Uh, I'm going to hit mode again, just to go back to the default, which is our exclusive selection. So as soon as I'm doing that, I'm starting to grab controller lights, I can grab different ranges. We've got a really useful button on the console. At the very top, we have a clear selected button. And if you go ahead and tap that, that's going to clear out the selection. And that key is also available as a soft key on your 7-inch touchscreen here, right next to the command keys. Um, but as well as interacting with our touchscreen, we can start to use syntax commands instead. It's a very powerful way to grab control of lights much more quickly. So if I want light number two, I can just go and say to enter, and that will select that light just like we did by going in and tapping on it. But taking that a step further, we can then start to assign intensity to our fixtures as well. So I could go and say to full, and that's going to send fixture two straight to full. On our command key, we've got some other useful buttons. We've got through, we've got plus, and we've got minus. And that allows us to start to grab ranges of fixtures at once. I could go and say, for example, one through, uh, one through six full, and that's going to grab control of those fixtures, one through to six. Now, the through key is a very powerful tool because what it will do is if we just go and say one through full, we say one through and don't define an end value, that's going to select fixture one through to a change in fixture type. So in my case here, I've got my front light, I've got some Leco fixtures here, um, and they are fixtures one through to six. And so I can go and just say one through, tap full, and it's going to select all of my Leco's because um, fixture seven is a different type of fixture in my particular show file. But we've got our AND key, so I could go and say 1, AND 3, AND 5, AND 7 full. So I can go and select those fixtures if I need to using the AND key. And we've also got minus to take away from the selection. 
So I could go and say, for example, 1 through 6 minus 3 minus 4 full. And that's going to grab a range of channels, but not include some in the middle of that range if needs be. Um, we've also got some other tools available as well. So if I go and say 1 enter to select my first fixture, um, I've got some keys here which are next and last. And so next and last actually allow me to step through each fixture in turn. And that's a very powerful tool when used with highlight. So I could go and say 1 enter and then hit highlight. That's going to turn highlight mode on on my console. And I can then actually use next and previous to step through my individual fixture intensities. Now, if I want to, I might want to go and turn some fixtures on. So I can have those up at full. I'm going to go and select some other fixtures on. Maybe I want to dial those up manually. Um, and you might get to a stage where you've got different fixtures on, but not all of them are selected. Uh, and a prime example of that is you might want to go, right, well, I want to select everything to bring the whole level on stage down a bit. Uh, and we've got our active button here. So if we go and hit active, that is going to select all of the active fixtures, all fixtures currently on above 0%. So hit active, it's going to select all the ones that are on, and we can then use our intensity wheel if I wanted, just to bring all of that level down. It's going to keep all of those levels relative to one another. Equally, I could now go and hit select previous, and that will then select my previous selection, my most recently used selection. So if I've gone and said fixture 6, for example, and I've then gone and said 7, for example, I could then go previous just to get me back to the lights that I'd previously had selected. So we've spoken about our active key to select the fixtures that are currently on. We've also spoken about how we can tap previous to get back to the selection we were previously using. Um, we've also got our select key here. Now, the select key here opens our select drop down at the top of the screen. Um, and it allows us to access various quick select tools. Now, when we patched this show file, we populated um, position information and purpose information for our fixtures. So we went and said, right, these fixtures here are front of house. These particular fixtures here are stage left. These are stage right, for example. And the console will use that information in these selection tools to create some quick select options. So, for example, I've got a button in here that is centre stage, so I can go and use that, hit full, and it grabs control of those lights. I did not select that, that I did not manually create that button. That's just been generated by the console based on the information that we populated within patch. Now, if you want to, you can also actually access that select tool rather than using it as a drop-down menu from the top, um, you can actually go and choose Select here on the touch screen. And again, you can go in, go ahead and use that tool just in the same way. So I could go and say Stage Right, Full, and that's going to go and grab those fixtures and put those to full as well. Um, within that Select and drop-down, we've also got some other tools in there. So within Select, I can go and say Tools, and I've got various selection tools, one of which is Odds and Evens. So I might want to go and say 31 through full to turn on fixture 31 through to the uh, change in fixture type there. And I might want to go and then say select tools and I can then go and say evens. And that will then just select the even fixtures of the current selection. So I could then go ahead and say out for example or I could just go and say at 50 enter, so I can just change the levels of the even fixtures specifically. Um, and so that's a really powerful tool to grab the odds and evens of your current selection. And you can access that through the select and tools option. Now, if you find you're regularly using these tools as well as accessing them from your internal touchscreen here or from the drop down, you can actually on the console go view, display options, quick select bar, and that is also a way of grabbing control of those buttons to very quickly allow you to grab all of a particular type of fixture, for example, or all of your center stage fixtures, for example, as well. And again, that's all populated based on your patching information. We've not had to create that manually. So let's talk a little bit more about our actual intensity control. We've, we've seen there that I've been using the full key and I've, I've used the um, some, some specifying some values as well. Um, so if I go and say one through 
enter to select those fixtures. Uh, we saw there, if I go and say full, it's just going to set those fixtures to full. Um, if you prefer to, you could go and say one through six at full as well. You can put an at in there if you prefer, that's absolutely fine. Um, but if you don't want it at full, you want it at specific intensity, we can of course type that in. So if I want this at 50%, I could go and say one through six at 50, enter. But I don't actually need to tap that last zero in. By default, the console will assume that we're working in tens. So what I mean by that is if I go and say one through six at five enter, that's gonna set those fixtures to 50. It it's just saves you a button press, the console assumes you're working in tens. Um, but of course, if you do wanna set those fixtures to 5%, if you want a very dim lighting state, we can then go and say one through six at zero five enter, and that's gonna get a very dim 5% on those particular fixtures. Um, now, another tool we can do is, rather than working in intensity values, you might prefer to work, work in an 8-bit DMX value. If you're getting very specific, and in certain use cases you need to choose a very specific DMX value for a, a certain fixture's intensity, we can indeed access individual DMX values if we need to. Uh, and to do that, we can actually use the NEO key with alongside the AT key. So if I want these fixtures to be at a DMX value of 63, um, if I were to go and say at right now, the console's gonna assume we're talking intensity percentages. So what I actually need to do is say Neo at, and that will then populate at DMX on the command line for me. So I could then go and say at DMX 63, and that's gonna set them to a DMX value of 63. And the console will do the calculation, of course, to work out what intensity percentage that is, and I can then view that in my channels grid. So we've got full for taking our fixtures to full. Um, if you wish to, um, you can go ahead and double tap at as well, um, and that will send your fixtures to full. I've already mentioned and I've kind of already used it a little bit. Over here on the right hand side of your console, you do have your intensity wheel, and that's going to be able to adjust the levels of the currently selected fixtures. And we can see the levels there changing in our channels grid. Now, as well as us viewing those levels within the channel grid, on the right-hand side of our touchscreen, we can see the sidebar. Now, the sidebar window, um, we've got two tabs at the very top. We've got fixture control and we've got the current playback. Um, we're gonna look at fixture control for now, which is the tab we're in. And we can see here within that, we've got all of the various attribute families that your fixture may have. And we're just dealing with intensity for now. So we're within the intensity tab. And as I go and dial my intensity wheel, I can see that my uh, intensity fader there on screen is moving. But if you wish to, you can go and use that on screen fader instead if you want to and interact with the fixtures using that method. Um, now, you will have noticed a couple of times I have used another button on the console, which is release. Release is a really important button um, because what it does is it releases our manual control values. It releases information that's currently in the console's programmer and then allows essentially any cues that might be running um, to be able to use those lights. It clears out those manual adjustments we might have made. The clear button is actually a two-step process. Um, so I've got my fixtures on stage here. I've got some fixtures that are not currently selected. That's my front light. Uh, and then I've got some fixtures that I've just selected. Uh, that's my um, stage right spots there. If I go ahead and tap release, that just releases control of the fixtures that were selected. Uh, but if I go ahead and tap release a second time, that will then release everything. So the first tap of release is just releasing the fixtures that are selected, and that second tap is then clearing anything that we've got manual control of. Now on our console, we've, we've spoken about full, but we've also got an on button. So we've got on, full and out as three different buttons here. So if I go and say one through six full, as you would expect, those fixtures are gonna come on. Uh, and I can go and say one through six on, and that's gonna turn those fixtures on as well. But the difference is that that on command can actually be customized. 
So you might want to say, oh, well, I'm regularly setting my fixtures to 70%, for example. So if you want to, you could go and customize that on level so that when you hit on, they go to 70. When you hit full, they will always go to full as expected. Um, if you want to do that, you can go ahead into system properties and configure that. Um, the out key, well, that's going to set your fixtures to 0%. Um, you'll notice that when you press out, um, and in fact make any intensity change, that you've got brackets within your channels grid. You'll see there's a little bracketed text top right of your channel grid box per fixture. Um, and that is actually history. The console knows what value that light was previously at. And that means I can use the undo key. I can say undo enter to get those fixtures back to the values that they were at previously. So we've spoken about on, full, and out. Just the other side of those buttons, we've got up and down keys. So I've got these fixtures at full at the moment, but I might just want to bring them down a touch. Um, and rather than using my wheel to obviously have gradual control, I can just hit down. And that's going to step those fixtures down by default um, by a value of 5%. So by default, each tap of down, it's just going to be bringing those fixtures down 5%, and vice versa, each tap of up is just going to be boosting them by 5%. Um, again, just like your on key, that can be customized. So you might decide, well, I want up to boost it by 10%. So of course, you can customize that if you want to. But it's just a useful way of um, bringing down or boosting the level um, by uh, a, a, a small amount of percent. I'm going to go ahead and use my release key there. That's going to release our manual control values, as, we, as we've discussed. Um, and as well as controlling our individual fixture intensities, um, if we need to, we can actually drill down to DMX output level. We can actually control individual DMX slots if we need to as well. But the syntax is a little bit different. Um, for that, we've got our output key on the console. So over on the right hand side here, we have a, uh, a button labeled output, and that will allow us to actually access the individual DMX values um, of our fixtures. So I might want to go and say output one at full, and that's going to set that DMX channel to full. I now get a pop-up, because bottom right of my console, the console is now saying that there are dimmers unpatched, i.e. there are currently DMX channels being controlled that are not being controlled by your normal fixture controls. They're being kind of overwritten, if you like. The, the normal fixture control is being overwritten, and we've got manual control of our DMX levels. Um, it's really useful to view your DMX view if you're controlling individual um, DMX ch channels. So to do that, I'm going to go and open my DMX view here. And I can see there that I have got manual control of that first DMX address. I can go and use my next and last. You'll see as I do that, I can actually jump through my addresses. So that's really useful for troubleshooting. Just allows you to skip through individual um, DMX uh, channels if you need to. Um, to get back to normal control, so clear out any um, manual DMX information you've been typing in, um, just go and double tap output. And if you do an output output, that will clear out those manual control values and we'll be back to normal fixture control. So we've spoken there about our um, ability to go and drill down and grab bunches of lights together. Um, we've spoken a little bit about how the console will help us out but with these quick select options that we can use to grab bunches of lights together. Um, but sometimes you're going to have specific requirements. You're going to want to actually group certain fixtures together and you might want to regularly control a certain bunch of lights together at one time. And in those situations, that's where we can use our groups because we can start to record ourselves some custom groups to grab control of certain bunches of lights together. Um, so to do that, I can access my groups window on the console. Um, for that, I'm actually going to go and minimize my attributes window here, and I'm going to go and open my groups window. And I've got my groups grid here on my console. Uh, in this case here, I'm going to go to options, and I can actually set the group grid size. I'm going to go and set that to 5 by 5, just to give myself a little bit of a bigger window on my console there. Now, I've already recorded a group for my front light, so I can click on that, go and hit full, and that's going to set my front light on. Um, but I'm going to go and record a new group here. Maybe I've decided I'm regularly using 1 and 2 and 5 and 6. 
which are those fixtures there, the stage left and stage right spots minus centre stage. I'm regularly using those lights together. So I'm going to record that as a group. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and tap the record button on my console, and I've now got two options. I could literally go ahead and tap in on my groups window, and that will then allow me to give that a name. So I'm going to go and name that uh, front. What I can also do is say record, but rather than tapping in, if you, if you prefer to, you can type that in in a syntax string. So I'm going to go and say record group three, and if I wanted to, I can actually name the group at the point of recording it, because I can use the syntax record group three text, and that then allows me to type in a name. So I can go and give that a quick name. Hit enter on the keyboard, and that's then recorded the group with that name. So I can now go and release that, and I can straight away go ahead and tap that group, hit full, and I've got control of that. Now, just like we did with our quick select tools, we can actually open groups on our screen here. So if I go to the groups tab, within groups, again, I can access all of those groups that we've just recorded. So I can go and click on one of those, hit full. So I've got nice and easy access to my groups right next to my command line for me. So we've got our groups tiles there. We can record into that window. If I need to, I can go ahead and just go ahead and tap delete and tap on a group and I can go and confirm that if I want to. Um, but we can actually really drill down into these groups if we need to using our groups command line on the console. Um, so at the moment we've been working in live control with normal fixture controls, but what I, what I can do is I can go and say groups on my console, and that takes me into my groups editor. Um, within here I'm going to actually go and filter by groups, and that's going to show me all of the groups that may be in my console, and if I go and select one of those groups, I'm going to go and say group 2 enter to grab control of that group. I can actually see in the bottom panel here what fixtures are included in that group. Now, because I've just gone and said group two, uh, enter, that has selected group two, and I can see that group two is displayed here at the start of my command line. And what it means is I'm now live editing that group. If I need to add in a couple of lights, 31 and 32, for example, I could say 31 and 32 full, and they get added to the group. They don't come on stage because we're not in live, we're in groups editor mode. Um, and so if I go and type that, that has just added those fixtures into group two. So if I want to use those, that, that, those changes that I've just made, go ahead and tap my live key. I can then go and say group two, full, and that's turned on the group with fixtures one, two, five, and six as we had previously, but with our new fixtures 31 and 32 added in as well. So that is our um, selection and intensity um, information, bit of an overview on that. And um, we've got various other uh, training videos that go more in depth on these. So do check them out there on the console and also on YouTube. In the next video, we're going to be talking about controlling other attributes of our fixtures. So color, position, and getting more in depth with our fixture control. <laughs>